Okay, whatever. So I think it's recording both of my screens right now, so we'll just cover this one up actually with that. Because I don't need to see my desktop. Anyway, this is just going to be a short video of how to. Uh, this only works for Weebly, so this is going to teach you how to add your podcast onto iTunes when you have a Weebly website. So I recently just got Weebly. Well, I uh, made an account on Weebly and started up my own account on it. Um, so what you have to do is basically, so you want to start off with your account first. So ours is just realtalking.ca. That's ours. And if you go to, well, it's going to change back. So what you have to do is you have to upload audio files. And you don't need to have a pro account to, in order to do this. You just need a. You can use the free account, but I believe you only get 500 megabytes of information uploaded, so you can't be doing this forever. But this is what we have. We have all of these files. So, what you have to basically do first is create a page. So, you can go to pages, create a page, and it has to be a blog one. So, my blog ones are marked by that little blurb there instead of just a standard page. You have to make a blog page. So what I have are is a blog page for the actual videos of my podcast and the audio files. So once you create a blog page, what you're going to have to do is start making posts. So to make a post, you go to the bottom right-hand corner here, and you just hit New Post. And once you hit New Post, you add in the post title, blah, 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 whatever. And then you just drag this it's a drag and drop system so you just drag file there and then just wait and then click it and then upload the file that you want so you're going to have to upload like an mp3 like just uh, an audio file into there and then that's it and after it's done uploading just hit post okay so we'll just discard that though because I'm not gonna upload a blank um, so once that is done you can go to your website now and you're gonna have to hit publish once you're done uploading all this stuff. So you publish it. Oh, actually, I think blog posts just upload automatically, so you don't even have to hit publish. But just hit publish anyway, just to be safe. So what you want to do is go to your RSS feed, and you want to make sure that you do have an RSS feed. If you don't have this here, in order to add it, you just grab this blog feed and then just drop it in. But you don't need it. Well, I don't need it, but uh, you need it. <laughs> Uh, in order to do that so you just drag and drop it in and then you can just click on this and boom there it is so this is either R your RSS feed and in order so mine I have a Chrome extension that allows me to see it like this but you might just see it maybe like that but it doesn't matter you're just gonna have to take this just the realtalking.ca slash or sorry whatever your website is and your feed basically it's probably going to be one two three four it depends on which number your page is on your website so mine is it said four there so one so one two three four I don't think they count home because home is just as nil so that goes one two three four so that's why mine is four and then feed so you just copy all of this and then you uh, paste it into feed burner so feed burner is free it's actually a Google it's a Google um, thing I don't know I assumed it was Google yeah so go to feedburner.google.com so I have my podcast in there already so um, what you would do is just paste that like that your feed sorry Oh my god, your URL into the feed, and then you click I'm a podcaster, and then you hit next. So you fill out all this information and everything. So we will we will do this. You just keep you can just hit next again. So this is how this is what you need in order to get iTunes to list your podcast. So you put in a category, whatever it is. So we'll just put games and hobbies no subcategory and now you have to upload an image so you have to um, it's a URL so what I use is imager I pronounce it imger 
and you can actually just okay I just went on the home page just take oh no let's not take that one that's a gif a gif okay um man it's been a while since I did this oh my god so you just take this information this JPEG information just copy it and then paste it into there and then that's that's your image so on iTunes it has to be a minimum of 1400 by 1400 to 3000 by 3000 pixels is how big the image has to be so what I did for mine was see that's too small so what I had to do was enlarge it so in order if you upload an image and you wanna edit the, the size of the image you hit edit image on imager and then you can set the pixels yourself so I just made it a little bit over just to make it okay for iTunes which is which worked out fine so that worked for me so you just have to have it within those limits you set the pixels of how many you need you add like whatever title you want let's just put in hello podcast summary talk about your podcast what your podcast is about it's about cheese and just enter any other information this stuff is optional so you don't have to put in a name or anything so you just hit next and then this will actually tell you so my feed burner my own feed burner whoopsies yeah that's not happening will tell you how many subscribers so this is the one I just did but this is the one I have right now oh it's nothing's happening yet for mine because I just did mine but it'll pop up here and then it'll give you information about your um, your podcast traffic and all of that so you can click any of these that you want but I'm just not gonna click any of those so mine is already taken but once you hit next oh, that's crabby so once you hit next though um, it'll allow you it'll give you let's just see it'll give you um, an RSS so it'll give you something like this feed address so you can just take all of that plus this you take all of that plus that and then copy it into the podcast submission so in order to get to the podcast submission you're going to have to go to iTunes. Um, doesn't always work, but. Or you could just go directly to podcastconnect.apple.com, but that's, that's a little long. So, what you have to do is log into iTunes, the app on your computer, go to the podcast section. If it's not in your pot, in your menu, you might have to add it. So add all of them I guess and then you go to the podcast section and then on the right here it'll say submit a podcast you just click on that and then I'll just open up the link for you anyway and then you just log in with your email address no with your iTunes account holy cow sorry log in there and then you just copy and paste the URL into there and then you hit validate and then if it's all good just hit submit if you have any questions you can put them in the comment section and I'll try to address them but you should be good to go so just copy and paste this address this whole thing not the features but that plus this into here and then you should be good to go that's what I had to do and then it worked fine but you have to make sure that on Weebly that you're uploading these files these a file not the audio I tried that I tried YouTube I tried everything but this is the one that works and once it works you're golden so you can also listen to these files here you just click them and then that's how that's basically it and you're good to go so yeah if you have any questions just just ask away
and thanks for listening or watching.